Welcome everyone to Funko Creep on YouTube. This is my Funko Pop vinyl collection I've put together over the past few months. Um, I've gone all over. You name it, I've been there. Slackers, GameStop, Hot Topic, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us. This is what I've put together though. Um, I'll be talking about the various figures as we go along. It's, it's, it's over a 30 minute video, but I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you'll hear some music in the background. That'd be the Deftones. First figure I put up here is uh, Pennywise from the movie It. I do like Pennywise. It's a scary clown to many, but I enjoy watching the movie. Made for TV, TV movie, I might add. Pennywise is number 55. Pop movies. I don't think I've ever seen any variants exclusives or any glow-in-the-dark of Pennywise. I'd like to show all views of the box. I hope you enjoy that part of it too. Top, sides, face, back. Here we have Twisty. Twisty the Clown. This is the masked version. Um, as of today's date, they have not yet released the unmasked version. I'll begin that as soon as I can. It's from the American Horror Story. Number 243. This would be Pop Television. You know what? It, it's a good show. I enjoy the American Horror Story, especially the Freak Show series. That's been my favorite. The clown's creepy, huh? You can't deny it. The details on them are, are done well. Um, if I remember right, that it looks like a bowling pin he's carrying. I'm not really sure what that is. I forget. Here's the top of the top of the box. This box in, is in pretty good shape. No real bad creases or kinks in this box. There's a few that you'll see. They've got some damage to them. Let's see what's next. In keeping with the clowns, first we started with Pennywise, then we went to Twisty. Now we're going to Captain Spaulding. This, this figure is just cool all around. I love the movies, all, all of them. House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and other Rob Zombie movies, really. I'm a fan of Rob Zombie's music, fan of his movies. Uh, he could probably stand and leave his wife out of some of his movies, but uh, Captain Spaulding, great character. Played by Sid Haig. This would be a pop movie, number, I believe, 58. Excellent movie, though. House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects. Top of the box. I'm trying to remember what which one I put next. Alright, we have Billy from Saw. Number 52 in Pop Movies. Another horror figure that I like. I've seen the movies. I, I couldn't even tell you if I've seen them all. I've seen so dang many of them, I just, I just don't know. They're good. The concept of the movie was, was original when it first came out. First saw. The mechanisms. Would you like to play a game? Get the side view. And we'll be turning it to the back. Nice blood splattered shower wall. I believe the first scene in the first movie took place in the shower. The guy woke up and Wonder what was going on. He'd been kidnapped. The mechanisms they use in the Saw movies are intricate. How anybody would get away with setting stuff like that up, I have no idea. But a uh, good, good movie series, good horror series. The quality fades as they get further in, my opinion, but it's okay. Uh, Ghostface from Scream, good movie. Good movie from the 90s. 
little slasher, campy, bubblegum type, in my opinion. But it was it was a fun, good movie to watch. Number fifty one in horror movies. And can't say for sure, but maybe that's Naomi Campbell. That's her likeness on the back of the picture. I'm not for sure on this one. She was the, the star of the movie, the, the main character who Ghostface seemed to be going after. Here it shows, you know, Bloody Knife. <laughs> Good movie. Here's the top. All right, and there goes Ghostface. Let's see what we got here. Alien. All right, so Alien may not necessarily be horror. Some would refer to it as sci-fi. Uh, there's a bit of a blend going on there when it comes to Alien and Predator, in my opinion. They're, they kind of fall in that gray area of horror, sci-fi. Either way, Alien... Alien 1, 2, 3, all the Alien movies, seen them all, number, what is this, number number 30, just a good movie, I couldn't tell you when the first one came out, I'm going to guess uh, the early 80s, early mid 80s, I wish I had the exclusive of this, I, I do like the, the bloody Alien, um, You'll notice after watching this video that most of my pops fall in the 30 to 35 dollar and under range. Uh, as of today, the people are asking up to 80 dollars, 90 dollars for the bloody version of Alien. And maybe one day I'll pull the trigger on that one, but right now I'm happy with this guy. He serves the purpose. And next we're going to have Predator, I'm almost sure. There you go, Predator. Great movie. Great movies, I might add. Alien vs. Predator, not so much. But the Predator movies, I like them a lot. This is number 31. This Predator is designed what I believe to be after the first Predator movie. They tend to change as the movies went on. There's the back, showing the infrared view that the Predator would use. The infrared picture, I think, is pretty cool on the back of this box. That's one thing about the Funko Pop vinyls. The, the vinyl itself, the figure itself, always cool. But the boxes, they're a piece of art in their own right, in my opinion. They, they, they look good. I keep mine in the box. I'll pull them out once in a while, maybe to take some pictures for whatever reason, but well, the boxes are, are worth keeping, worth keeping in good shape and worth looking to get good boxes. Next we have the Hot Topic exclusive for Predator. This is a clear Predator with green blood splatter. And once again, we this is an exclusive. I don't. I have a few, not a lot, but a few. There is another uh, predator that is clear, no blood splatter. Uh, he's going. I don't know for around forty-five and up. This one will work for me. Maybe one day I'll I'll get the clear predator from someone who just doesn't care for it. But right now, the standard predator and the clear with blood splatter is good for me. And there's the box, same as the other predator. Still at number 31. Let's see what we have next. Ash. One of my favorites. Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness. Great movies. Um... <laughs> It's, they're just good. I mean, they're so entertaining. The first one, second one's a bit overly corny for me. 
first one had some humor, but really had a, a darkness to it that I enjoyed. I've I've seen the remake. I think they did a good job of the Evil Dead remake. Here we see the back of the box. Hail to the king, baby. It's Ash. Bruce Campbell, who plays Ash. A very likable guy. I've never met him. A lot of people have met him at the Comic-Cons. Never been to one. I'm not really typically a collector by nature but I am a big horror fan always have been ever since I was a little boy watching horror movies with my dad I was born in 70 so I've been around 44 years I've seen some old horrors but I've always been a fan of the horror movies it doesn't matter I, I like most all of them here we have Dead Eye King, King of the, the Undead Army I guess you'd say the Army of Darkness Number 54. He's a worthy adversary for Ash, I think. There's the back. Same as the Ash. Not much different. Just the figure itself. The, the profile. Once again, this is Deftones playing in the background. Good band. You never heard of them? Check them out. Deftones. D-E-F-T-O-N-E-S. Here we have a side view of the Deadite. Nice spear, skulls. Well-sculpted vinyl pop, I might add. This, this one looks good. Some are simple. Some are more intricate. Toward the end, we'll get to one of my most favorite. Let's see what we got next. Hannibal Lecter from the, the TV show. I'll be honest, I've never watched a TV show. But this reminds me of Hannibal when, when he was with uh, Anthony Hopkins, was with Ray Liotta. And I envision this Hannibal Lecter as that Hannibal, where he's cutting open Ray Liotta's head to eat the brains and serve it to Ray Liotta. Number 146. Side view, and here we're going to go to the, the top side view. Looking like a clean cut guy, if it wasn't for the knife with the blood. But hey, he is Hannibal. Distinguished, yet, well, I wouldn't go to a dinner party at his house, let's put it that way. And here we have Hannibal Lecter from the original movie, Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins, Jodie Foster. Excellent movie. A bit of a, a thriller, horror, kind of in that gray area there. Suspenseful. The dialogue was good in that movie. Hannibal's number 25 in pop movies. Here's the back. There's the... The moth, I forget what kind of moth they call it, a death's head moth, I forget. Just don't forget to put the lotion on the skin. Here we have the top. Pop movies. Alright, that'll probably be enough of that one. Moving on to the next one. What do we got? Sam. Trick or treat. I really like this figure. The burlap texture on the sack on the head is great. The candy corn accents, the orange and the buttons of the overalls. The movie was good series of short stories that ended up intertwining toward the end of the movie. Obviously, Sam was involved in each one of the short stories. Great movie. Excellent Halloween movie. Um, I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've seen it, but it's a good movie. In fact, it's one of my favorite Halloween movies. And he's number 57 in pop movies.
side. Now we're going to go to the top. Shows the burlap stitching. The texture, like I said, the texture on this this guy, the sculpting is just great. Some some of these pop vinyl figures are really sweet pieces of work. Some are a little more simple. Here we have Chucky from Child's Play 2. Number 56 in pop movies. Um, Child's Play are good movies. I mean, you got to take them for what they are. They're, they're not to be taken too literal, <laughs> I guess you could say. Here we have a side view. Nice, sinister looking rear view on the box. Once again, the boxes. The boxes of these things are a piece of art unto themselves. I'm going to turn to the side. Alright, now we'll go side view, back to the top view. Angry eyebrow Chucky. He looks mad right there, doesn't he? All right, moving on, we have a Hot Topic exclusive, Bloody Chucky. A little bit of blood on him, not a whole lot, really, to be honest. The difference between this guy and, and the standard Chucky doll is really not much different. A little bit of blood, blood splattered on there. We got the side view, rear view is all going to be the same as the other Chucky. That's a big pair of scissors, I might add. There we go, side view, and then to the top. See you, Chucky. Let's see what we got coming up next. Ah, classic Michael Myers from Halloween. Well, I was, I was a young boy when this came out. It was a... Uh, Great movie. I mean, simple as that. Scary. He's not the fastest guy, but he's a scary one. <laughs> Number three, pop movies. There's the back. Kind of a generic back. Not real, I don't know how to put it. Personalized for Michael Myers. Not, not the most personalized back of the box. Here on the side, Michael with his mask and his, his, his blade. And there's the top of the box. After Halloween, we're going to go to, let's see, Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Good movie. Um, man, they sequeled this one to death. No pun intended. I mean, they could have stopped at two. Number two would have been good. Either way, Freddy Krueger's a great character. Um, the concept of the movie was good. The acting was all right. But hey, I was just a little boy. Things were different back then when they made these movies. And, well, Freddy was a good one back then. Probably another movie I watched with my dad when I was little. There we go. Pretty sure we're going to see Jason Voorhees next. Yep, from Friday the 13th. Number one pop movies. For horror, Jason Voorhees. Friday the 13th. Crystal Lake. Um, I'll tell you what, I watched this movie as a little boy, great movie, the ending scene, the very ending scene where he jumps out of the lake and pulls that girl into the, into the lake from the canoe, scared the crap out of me, I literally couldn't sleep that night, and well, that gives this movie a, a 10 on the scale of scary when I was a little, it, it was just a great movie. <laughs> scared the crap out of me no no kidding it takes a lot to scare me even when I was little but that one moment where he jumped out I was not expecting it and it was good 
Hmm. There's the top hockey mask. Who knew a hockey mask could look so sinister? Leatherface, Chainsaw Massacre. Another good movie. I have yet to see the remake. I need to get around to seeing that one. Here you have a side view. He's number 11. There's the back. A little more personalized for this one. As opposed to say the Freddy, Jason, or Michael Myers. There's a side view. And we're going to go to the top view. That'll be all of Mr. Leatherface. Moving on. What are horror movies without this element? You know, 90% of my collection are horror figures. And if this, if this guy doesn't fit my collection, I don't know what fits my collection. Fear. <laughs> It just seemed right when I saw him. I said, you know what? I've got all these horror figures. I'm going to stick him right in the middle. I'm not so sure he likes his surroundings, but he fits. I haven't seen the movie. Uh, all three of my kids have seen the movie, Inside Out. Uh, I hear it's really good. I'm sure I'll watch it. There's a side view. Fear. What's a horror movie without fear? There's the top. Cute little guy, I might add. Alright. Back to the horror. Let's see who we have here. Oh, Cthulhu. I bought this one more because he was just big, mean, nasty looking, and he glows in the dark. Number three, and this is actually in from Pop Books. There's the back, giving a little background on Cthulhu. Side view. And this is a big pop. Anybody who owns one knows what I'm talking about. This thing's like almost three times the weight of any other pop that I own. He's a big guy. Alright, that's gonna be enough for Cthulhu. Moving on. What do we got? Here we go. Universal Monsters. As soon as I saw these guys, I had to get the whole set. I mean, I, I was born in 1970. I've watched all these with my dad when I was a little boy. Had to have them. These are actually the Universal Monsters and Captain Spaulding are what drew me to pop vinyl. And here we have Dracula. Number 111 in a set of eight. I had to get all eight. Couldn't let any of these get these guys get away. And he's a cute little Dracula. Not the most menacing looking pop, but well, I like him. Here's the top view. Number one eleven, Dracula. All right, next we're gonna go to number one twelve. I try to keep most of mine in consecutive order when making this video, but, well, I'm just not that organized. Here we are with number 112, Frankenstein. Built by Dr. Frankenstein from parts. Um, 
what can you say? Everybody's seen Frankenstein and all the different Frankenstein movies that follow behind. This is number 112, Pop Movies, Universal Monsters. Back's pretty much the same as the other Universals, except for Frankenstein himself. And here we have the top. I might add, I'm, I'm actually watching The Devil's Rejects as I'm making this video, or as I'm giving the audio of this video. Here we have a Hot Topic exclusive Glow in the Dark Frankenstein. Uh, not a rare one. Doesn't matter to me. Not worth a lot in, in, in dollar value. Doesn't matter to me. I just thought he was cool. One of these days I'm going to set up all my glow in the darks under a black light. Right now they're all stuck in the box. Maybe one day I'll pull them out. Next we have Bride of Frankenstein. Universal Monster 113. I guess Frankenstein was lonely. Therefore he got a bride. Good movie. I, it's been so long since I've seen it, I just have fond memories, but I couldn't tell you a whole lot about the movie. Here we have a side view. There's our trademark white streak on the side. There's the back. Side. And the top, Bride of Frankenstein. Alright, coming up next, Hot Topic exclusive Bride of Frankenstein once again. Not the rarest, not the most valuable, but, well, she glows in the dark. And I think it's cool. There's the front. We'll do a quick little run through of the box because it's the same as the other one. No, no real difference I've noticed on these exclusives that I've had. There's a boo boo. There's the top. Same as the other one. Moving on. Another universal monster, the Wolfman. Now that's a cute little, cute vinyl figure. Well sculpted. Good job on this one. I really like this one a lot. Good movies. I mean, there's so many Wolfman movies out there. Different perspectives, different, just different angles of the Wolfman legacy. This is number 114 in pop movies, Universal Monsters. Side view. You know, if you like these, I'm going to be doing individual videos on all my pops. Um, I've got, I don't even know, like 32 horror pops. I've got some, some sci-fi. The Matrix, Robbie the Robot, B9, Ghost Rider. There'll be more. I'll have other videos. So if you do like what you see, do me a favor. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, Funko Creep. Here we have the mummy, number 115. Um, not as many remakes of the mummy. Good movie, good movie. Just uh, not as widely followed. But, you know, good, good movie nonetheless. There we go, Here's the back side. Number 115. 
There's the top of the box. If you stuck with this movie, this video this far, I hope you like what you're seeing. And moving on, Phantom of the Opera. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw this movie. I was probably 12. I probably need to watch it again. But I couldn't get the Universal Monster Pop figures without getting all of them. I don't always subscribe to that way of thinking, but for the Universal Monsters, they all deserve a place. This is number 117, side view. We got the back. the side here, fan of the opera. A little crease on the top of the box you can see. A little light. The angle of the light's hitting it. Not a huge freak about the boxes, but I do like to have my boxes in good shape because I do display them in the box. Maybe one day, like I said earlier in the video, I'll take them out. And here is one of my most definite favorites. I just watched Creature from the Black Lagoon last weekend. In my opinion, this is one of the best sculpted vinyl pop figures that they've made. It's really evident when you, when you see the metallic version of this guy. He's cute, well sculpted, good movie. Um, this is number 116. Creature from the Black Lagoon. I reckon if you're bored one day, you, need, you just need something to, as a filler, something to watch. Look this movie up. Get it. Watch it. It's a good movie. It's, it's entertaining. Black and white, that's okay. Now we're going to go to the side of the box. And the top. <laughs> uh, like I said, this, this is a really good looking pop. These three, uh, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, Captain Spaulding, Universal Monsters, some of my favorite. Here we have a Gemini exclusive metallic Creature from the Black Lagoon. Out of the box, this thing has so much detail. It just looks great. I'm impressed with the sculpting of it. I'm impressed with the figure. There's a, not much different than the other creature from the Black Lagoon figure. Look at the detail. That's me pointing at the detail. And there we go. If they try to make him look mean, I just can't. I can't see it. He's too cute. <laughs> All right, that was Gemini exclusive metallic. Now we're going to get the Gemini exclusive glow in the dark. Good looking figure. Once again, the detail doesn't show as much with with this material or, or the it's almost translucent, clear type material. It, it glows in the dark really well. I might add that the box, the, the blood stream on the box, it glows in the dark also. One of my favorite figures. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Great detail. Good movie. I, I really enjoy these three figures, all three of them. And they weren't really expensive. The, this was probably one of my most expensive pieces that I've purchased. All right, what do we have next? Metaluna, Metaluna Mutant. I couldn't tell you how to pronounce it, but that is one cool looking figure too. I like the color scheme, the way it looks. I've seen the movie. I was probably eight or nine at the drive-in theater with my dad watching this movie. It's just been so long. Another one I need to look up and view again. 
been over 30 years. Number 118. This is the last, I believe, of my of my uh, Universal Monsters, the last of my horror collection. I do hope you liked the video. If you watched the whole thing, I do thank you. If you don't mind, like and subscribe to my Funko Creep channel. I'll be adding more videos as the days, weeks, months go on. I'm still looking forward to the release of Nosferatu. I'm looking forward to the release of Pinhead. Hellraiser movies, gosh, that's going to be a good one. Definitely one of my favorite horror series are the Hellraiser series. So anyway, I hope you like and subscribe to Funko Creep. I hope you like what I had to say, and have a good day.